Thank you, Javed, and good morning to all of you. Um, you know, I was born not too far away from here some years ago. I can't tell you how many. And so it's great to welcome you to my hometown. And I had uh, some memories. I was a very young man when I left at age five and went to Hong Kong. Most of my memories, of course, started with a trip from Shanghai to Hong Kong. And I certainly remember the uh, images of crossing the border on a train that's loaded with people and starting our life in Hong Kong. And so uh, life's been very good to me. And uh, here I am, welcoming you to my hometown. <laughs> One of the first things I wanted to do is look at the Bone River, uh, the Bone area, and look at the river uh, because, of course, there's so many great memories uh, that I have. Actually, interesting in global activities started with my roots when I was a young man because of my uh, travels, you know, going from Hong Kong, uh, Shanghai to Hong Kong, and it was post-war China, and, uh, you know, so global health has always been very important to me. Um, a few years ago, uh, together with uh, some of our colleagues, Ivy Ingus here, that we started a medical school at Duke, uh, NUS in Singapore. And of course, Yavid with Wild Cornell, we started talking about our mutual experience, about how exciting it is about education. And because very quickly we realized that uh, there's tremendous opportunity for everyone to create a great education system globally, to learn from each other. So I want to be sure that you understand it's not about Americans bringing the system to somewhere else, but actually working together to learn. And, you know, in fact, I'm not a really bona fide educator, although I'm a great supporter of education. There must be lots of different meetings in education, but we found there's something missing. That something missing is the idea of looking at how to do things differently. So if you look at many meetings, it's the same presentation, if you will, of educational paradigm. And we thought that in order to look at what's important in healthcare at the end of the day, it's going to rely on the workforce. And so we're very impressed by the Lancet Commission, which says that really to educate, you really have to look at what the desires of the community and the care delivery. And second, we believe strongly, certainly in my own background, that the solution is being innovative. Not doing the same old, same old, but doing things differently. And so for the innovation and education, those two ideas, Javin and I thought, wow, uh, actually it was his idea uh, to start a journal on this area. So we had a journal which is now online, right? it was open access now online, but perhaps more exciting in this regard is a journal can only do so much, but actually creating a forum for people who are interested in learning from each other, particularly in learning models and innovation is what we thought we would do. And so, a few years after the journal started, uh, we decided that actually we should have a forum. And that's where you are. I want to uh, make sure I acknowledge uh, Bob Crone and also Tara Razi, who's actually played a very critical role in uh, pulling these things together, both in terms of a journal as well as a forum. So I'm a cheerleader. I'm here to cheer all of you uh, in thinking about how do we actually going to make a difference. The other thing we quickly learn, of course, is that it's not about medical pro education, it's about health education. In order for us to be able to deliver the care that's needed, we need to think about teams, interprofessional, and education, not only about medical education, but nursing education and other education. Hence the emphasis on health professions education. And finally, I believe that in taking this meeting to different places, we're really in many ways saying that it's not situated either in Qatar or the United States, but it's a global activity. And importantly, for example, this time coming to China, we're going to learn a lot about what's going on in primary care, the healthcare reform, and of course, in so doing, we see what the changes and opportunities are as others will bring different ideas. And going forward, we'll be able to put forward some great ideas. Certainly, it's our aspiration that this forum is a place where we convene 
we learn from each other, we take models and try to scale and perhaps replicate so that more and more we can uh, truly uh, transform, if you will, healthcare through education and the workforce. Now, so today's meeting, uh, we focus on the following. First, modern workforce to address growing need of a burgeoning and aging population with chronic non-communicable disease. <coughs> Clearly important, right? How do we train our workforce? Uh, how do we train our, our uh, health professions to address these issues? Second, of course, is need in primary care. We need it in our country, in the United States. I know you need it in Qatar. We need it in China. And we certainly look forward to learning from our Chinese colleagues how they address this issue, particularly in terms of rural and urban uh, communities. And of course, we want to look at training, uh, curriculum, and undergraduate level, and perhaps the graduate and continued professional level to ensure quality, safety, and accountability. There's so much discussion these days about universal health coverage. I've been actually standing up to say, uh, look, that's great. We have to have it. In our country, we're arguing about repealing Obamacare. It's all about insurance. But beyond that, we need to assure quality and safety of our patients, because what's insurance without good quality, right? So that's an important thing. And finally, of course, innovations. And I know that Javin and the team work very hard to think about what innovations. And I strongly believe that if we have the right innovators and also perhaps a broader sponsorship, we can create a really powerful forum uh, to move the needle, if you will, in the future education. So that's my hope. Um, I apologize, I won't be here tomorrow. I'm only here for today. I do have to go back to Washington. These days in Washington, we're pretty busy, believe me. And uh, uh, I opened a meeting on Friday on global health. And of the things that we do in the National Academy, or used to be known as the IOM, we, every, every new presidential cycle, we present a report to the new presidential uh, team about what's in the future of healthcare in the United States and what's in the future of healthcare in globally. Uh, you might have seen our JAMA paper about two, three weeks ago, which we actually presented 20 papers. And that was very well received. I met with Secretary Price and also the major senators and also Nancy Pelosi, et cetera. So that's good because we're saying, look, you can fight over politically about the coverage. We still have to remember it's about access, cost, and patient centeredness. <laughs> In the global health, it's going to be very interesting because we're about to release our report. And we had had a lot of influence with the Bush administration, certainly PEPFAR, and with the Obama administration, we shall see what happens this time. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry I have to get back uh, Friday morning. I opened the meeting at 9 a.m., so I won't be with you tomorrow, but certainly I look forward to today's active discussions. So thank you very much.